This video includes a paid sponsorship from Exter, but more on that later. It's been about two years since Tesla revealed their large format 4680 batteries and their structural battery packs, and it appears like BMW is finally taking notice because they recently announced that their next generation of electric vehicles will use large format cylindrical 46 millimeter diameter battery cells and also a new modular platform. Let's talk about what we know so far about BMW's next generation battery cells, a bit about this new EV platform, and how BMW's EV plans compare to Tesla. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. Tesla's existing electric vehicles are of course extremely efficient and they do an excellent job squeezing every last mile out of a kilowatt hour. For example, the long range Model X has approximately a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack that is able to provide up to 351 miles of EPA rated range, whereas the less efficient BMW iX xDrive 50 has a larger 105.2 kilowatt hour pack that's usable capacity that provides a lower 324 miles of range. While 324 miles is still a decent amount of range, and that's plenty for most people, um, Tesla clearly has an advantage here and is able to achieve more range with a smaller battery pack. Now beyond the weight advantage, being able to produce an electric vehicle with a smaller battery pack that actually still has more range than a competitor, this gives you a cost advantage as well. For instance, according to Bloomberg NEF's research, the average cost of a battery pack for manufacturers in 2022 should be somewhere around $135 per kilowatt hour. And while I believe Tesla has a manufacturing advantage, thus they probably don't pay quite that much per kilowatt hour, just to be fair, since we don't know the exact cost that Tesla or BMW pays per kilowatt hour for their battery packs, let's just assume they pay the exact same price. And if you do the math here, that means that the Tesla Model X battery pack, if you assume a $135 per kilowatt hour cost, that battery pack would cost Tesla somewhere around $13,500. Once again, using that same cost, a 111.5 kilowatt hour pack for the BMW iX would cost you a bit over $15,000. Thus, it appears like based on my calculations, Tesla has at least a $1,500 cost advantage when it comes to the, the battery pack cost of the Model X versus the BMW iX. Now, in order to get a perspective of just how significant this savings could be, if you produce 50,000 vehicles and you're able to save this much money, roughly $1,552.50 per pack, that equates to $77.6 million of savings at a volume of 50,000 vehicles, at a volume of 100,000 vehicles, 155.25 million, at a volume of 200,000 vehicles, over $310 million, and at 300,000 vehicles, just for instance, that's over $465 million of savings. In addition, the numbers that we've talked about so far are for Tesla's existing battery technology, not counting their structural battery pack and 4680 batteries. So when you actually take into account their new battery technology and their new structural pack design, this should improve Tesla's lead over BMW in both cost per kilowatt hour and EV efficiency, which I think has BMW just a bit worried. In the past, BMW has been very vocal about their support of a very flexible shared platform for both electric vehicles and internal combustion engine vehicles, but it appears like they finally realized that uh, these shared flexible platforms are not going to cut it and that more is going to be necessary if they're really going to succeed in an EV future. Now, before I dive into what BMW is doing about this and their new battery plans, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, Exter. Exter offers a number of slim, innovative smart wallets that can replace your bulky bifold or trifold wallet with a smart 21st century wallet. I really like this aluminum card holder from Exter, which is made with a really high quality space grade aluminum, so it should last a really long time. It also has this really handy strap on the front that allows you to store things like cash. Um, you could put extra cards in there or other papers as well. It also has space in the back here where you can store extra cards, easy access to get to 
other cards. My favorite feature is definitely the ability to access your stored cards with a simple push of a button. And when you push the button, it fans out your cards very nicely and you can grab them and easily access cards at a moment's notice. In addition for Apple users, this version of the card holder is designed for Apple AirTag integration. Exter also offers these smart trackable cards that you can stick in your wallet and with a downloadable app, you can track down where this card is. Of course, if it's stuck in your wallet, then you'd be able to track down where you left your wallet or where you lost your wallet. There are a number of sales right now on the Exter website, so make sure that you go over to shop.exter.com forward slash cleanerwatt and catch one of these sales and upgrade your wallet today. I'll also put a link to that in the video description. So as I mentioned, even Tesla's existing battery technology gives them an advantage over BMW and their new technology should give them even more of an advantage over BMW. But what is BMW doing about all this? Well, BMW's current generation of electric vehicles like the BMW iX, i4, and i7 are or will be powered by prismatic battery cells. However, starting in 2025, BMW plans to introduce a new platform that they're referring to as New Class, which will be powered by cylindrical 46 millimeter diameter battery cells in two different heights. When it comes to the benefits of BMW's new platform and also these new battery cells, in their press release, they mentioned that this new battery technology should allow them to increase the energy density of these battery cells by more than 20%. It should allow them to increase the range of their vehicles by up to 30%. In addition, BMW claims that this new battery technology should cost somewhere around 50% less than their fifth generation battery technology. And that when it comes to electric vehicle manufacturing costs, they hope to bring that down to the same level of vehicles with internal combustion engines. When it comes to some of the details about the chemistry of these battery cells, BMW also mentions that when it comes to the cathode, they're going to be very high nickel cathodes and they're trying to reduce the amount of cobalt. In addition to the high nickel batteries that BMW plans to offer, they also plan to offer a lithium iron phosphate version of these large format 46 millimeter batteries. And when it comes to the anode side of the equation, they're hoping to increase the silicon content, which should be what drives up the energy density of their battery technology. If BMW is actually able to achieve all these gains, this is going to help them in a huge way, and it should affect the efficiency and cost of their electric vehicles in the future. But how many battery cells do they plan to have available in the future? Well, this press release from BMW did mention that they plan to have six different factories, each producing 20 gigawatt hours of batteries each. Two of these factories will be in China, two in Europe, and two of these factories should be built in the North American free trade zone. However, do note that BMW is not planning to build these battery cells themselves, but they're actually awarding contracts and working with other um, battery manufacturers. For instance, BMW has already chosen CATL to build two of these factories and EVE Energy to also build two of these factories. And when it comes to the two factories that are planned for the North American free trade zone, um, that partner has not been chosen yet. Interestingly enough, BMW is also working on solid state batteries and they claim that they should have these batteries ready, these solid state batteries ready by the end of the decade for vehicles. And they plan to um, actually put out a demonstrator vehicle um, before 2025. With that in mind, let's now move over to BMW's plans. How many electric vehicles do they actually plan to manufacture in the future? Well, according to the same press release, BMW hopes to have 2 million fully electric vehicles on the roads by the end of 2025. Now, it's important to note that notice that this statement said vehicles on the road, 2 million vehicles on the road by 2025. It didn't say 2 million vehicles per year by 2025, but actually vehicles on the road. There's a big difference between 2 million per year and 2 million total between now and 2025. Nonetheless, when it comes to a 2030 date, they actually hope to have somewhere around half of their vehicle cells be fully electric sometime before 2030, which I estimate based on their 2021 cells could be somewhere around one to maybe 1.25 million electric vehicle cells by somewhere slightly before or around 2030. Now, if BMW is indeed able to produce over a million vehicles per year before 2030, that's of course impressive, but when you compare that to Tesla, they're going to do that this year 
And on top of that, they're aiming for 20 million vehicles per year before 2030 or around 2030. Back in 2013 and 2014, Tesla only sold around 1% of the vehicles that the BMW group sold. In 2021, Tesla was able to sell 37% as many vehicles as BMW. And when you move to the first three quarters of 2022, so far Tesla has sold 52% as many vehicles as BMW. When you extrapolate that out and assume a 50% growth rate per year for Tesla, that means that as soon as 2024, Tesla could surpass BMW in total sales. At the end of the day, while this is a bit late, uh, it's better late than never, and I'm glad to see that BMW is finally making some wise choices when it comes to their future battery technology and also their EV platform. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. And also, if you work in the battery or automotive industry and you'd like to reach out to me, feel free to email me. My email address is john, J-O-N, at cleanerwatt.com. Again, john, J-O-N, at cleanerwatt.com. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.